So I've heard of some pretty weird fetishes. We've got the spanking, we've got the handcuffs, and we've even got the feet. Oh my goodness! But this, this, no, no, bad girl. This is something I have never seen before. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ivan Steph, and you guys, today's video, all I can really say is that it's flat out weird. If you thought that 2020 couldn't get any weirder, well then, you're in for a ride. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide. Today we're going to be taking a look at role playing, and I'm not talking the classics like doctor, teacher, police officer, soldier, and even cancer patient. I'm talking about role playing as an actual dog. Give me the ball, give me the ball. <laughs> Hey. There's this TikToker at Your Puppy Girl Jenna, and she's gained a pretty big following the past couple months from pretending to be a puppy. She's gained so much exposure acting like a dog that she's making hundreds of thousands of dollars on her OnlyFans account. Don't get me wrong, I find it incredible that thanks to social media, almost anyone nowadays can become rich. But you have surgeons who went through 10 years of school and make six figures a year, literally saving people's lives. And then you have Jenna who makes the same amount for acting like a puppy on camera. Well, shit, if I knew it was that easy to become rich, I would have dropped out of school a long time ago. Oh uh, hi, yeah, this is Ivan Steph, and I'm just calling to say uh f this school, and I'm dropping out to become a professional horse. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to some of your puppy girls Jenna's videos and just having a laugh. This video isn't meant to be taken seriously, it's all for jokes. So if you're into one of those weird dog fetishes, all that, you know, suck my dick and I'll give you a treat for being a good girl type shit. Well then you know, don't be such a snowflake. Anyways, just before we get into this, I'm really hoping to reach 100,000 subscribers on my channel by the end of this year. So if y'all can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot. So without further ado, let's roll the clip. Right, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Hey, hey, give me, give me the ball. Where are you All I have to say is why, like just why? So the TikTok that we just saw is the second one on her account. And I didn't want to show you the first one because it's just flat out dumb. <laughs> but this one here, it just really makes me question life. I want to know the thought process she had when she was making this video. Did she just wake up one beautiful Sunday morning and was like, you know what? I'm tired of working my regular nine to five job, scanning groceries and dealing with Karens who think that they own the world. So I'm going to quit my job and pretend to be a puppy on TikTok. I just can't imagine how weirded out the boomer couples are who are just trying to enjoy their nice, you know, walk in the park until they see this. What kind of milk is this girl drinking? Seriously, it's just... It's just so weird. Hey, what are you doing on the couch? You know better than that. Bad girl, go to your bed. No, quit whining. You know better than that. Why? What is going on? Why does this have a strange sexual vibe to it? I don't know what I'm more creeped out by, the girl who's crawling like that one chick from the ring, or the guy who's talking behind the camera. No, quit whining. You know better than that. They take that Hey step bro, what you doing? To a whole new level. Now what I'm really curious about is that, is this whole dog impersonating thing her idea or her boyfriend's? Now if it was her boyfriend's, I'm just taking a wild guess that his favorite position in the bed is probably doggy style. And to be honest, I don't blame him because God damn. Respects to her because I can tell that she's definitely been working her gluteus maximus hard at the gym. You want the ball? You want the ball? Go get it. I have so many questions right now. So I didn't mention this earlier, but before she became a full-time puppy on TikTok, you know, despite the app literally on the verge of being banned, she was an ophthalmologist. I dare to say that word three times fast. Ophthalmologist, 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 nah. I can't do it. Anyways, in other words, before this whole TikTok thing, she was a doctor. And according to salary.com, in Texas where the girl worked, ophthalmologists earn an average of $300,000 per year. This girl's life was set, making bare money, being able to afford a new Lamborghini each year if she really wanted to. But now she's picking up tennis balls off the ground and having her teeth filled with dirt. I just seriously question people's life decisions nowadays. No, 
No, stay, stay, no, 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 bad girl, bad girl. Oh, you're all wet. God, no, bad girl. No, what is going on? I just gave you a bad girl. I don't know what's going on. Hey. What are you watching? No, 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 it's not what it looks like. Go to your bed right now. Go to your bed right now. You know better than that. You know, I seriously question how this is allowed on TikTok. Like, I just can't imagine how uncomfortable random 12-year-olds are who come across these videos on their For You page. Because as a 19-year-old, even I'm uncomfortable watching these. Like, the girl literally stuffed her face in the guy's buttocks. And did y'all see what I saw when he pointed at that bed? Go to your bed. Literal peanut butter. So apparently this girl has an OnlyFans account and after seeing that, it's safe to say what type of content they make on there. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope that you were entertained and did have a laugh. If you were, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, for those who don't know, Merch is officially live. Check the description box or a pinned comment I'm gonna leave as well to the link to the store. Make sure to follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My TikTok is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph and my Snapchat is shock underscore you zero nine let me know what type of videos you want to see next on my channel this video was highly requested and that's why i made it anyways that's officially gonna do it for this video and until next time it's been iron stuff